Working behind the bar at Doc's Place on Mulberry Street in Lebanon keeps Tamara C. Hayes busy enough, but a phone call last night added to her already crowded plate. I have a nine-year-old. She just started fourth grade. Actually, we're new to the area, so uh, Monday she started, and we got a call um, via the one call from the um, principal saying that the schools were closing Wednesday through Friday. The reason? A rising COVID-19 caseload in the Lebanon City School District. We're seeing big jumps um, and spread that's happening inside of our building. Superintendent Isaac Sievers told board members during a Monday night meeting that more than 850 students are in quarantine, with 80 classmates testing positive for the coronavirus. As a result, the board voted to stop school for three days. Students will head back to class next Tuesday after the long holiday weekend. I'm work from home, so it's not going to be a big deal for us. But seventh grade parent Lisa Stefan knows a sudden school stoppage is not ideal for everyone. I do feel bad for the parents that have the last minute child care decisions to make, um, but that's the world we live in right now for the past year and a half. Back at Doc's place, Tamara Seahays has not upset her daughter's school will be temporarily closed, but as a single mom, she's now facing another COVID caused speed bump. Single mothers that have a hard time getting child care and, and affording child care. I actually just started this job, so I'm not really sure what I'll do. Um, hopefully I'll be able to get my family to help out with child care. But um, other than that, I'm, I'm kind of stuck. Yeah, feeling a little stuck tonight. I'm sure she's not alone here in the school district. When students do return to class one week from today, they'll have to wear a mask just as they did uh, today. The board making that announcement last night as well. The mask requirement will be revisited in a few weeks. At that point, uh, district leaders will see what the latest COVID data says uh, about uh, the situation to see if masks will continue to be needed. Reporting live tonight in Lebanon, Todd Dykes, WLWT News 5.